हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर एंड लेक्चरर ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस द लॉ ऑफ डोमिनेंस एंड लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन एंड दीज टू लॉज दे वेर प्रपोज बाय ग्रैग वॉर मैंडल एंड दे वेर बेस्ड अपॉन द रिजल्ट ऑफ मैंडल्स हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एक्सपेरिमेंट विच ही परफॉर्म्ड on garden p pandal has performed two types of hybridization experiment one the mono hybridization experiment where he studied the inheritance of single character and the second a di hybridization experiment in which he studied the inheritance of two characters okay these two laws law of dominance and law of segregation they are absolutely based upon the result of mono hybridization experiment now the law of dominance mandel performed experiment of hybridization on garden p and he studied the seven characters for more clarification you can refer to my previous lecture which is on hybridization okay and in each case he found that each character for example height it is controlled by discrete units and these units were named as factors clear the factors they occur in pairs in a dissimilar pair of factor for example capital t and small t okay only one is able to express it it is effect and that factor which is able to express it is effect is known as dominant the other factor which is not able to express it is um, effect is known as recessive factor clear for more clarification just remember mandel's hybridization experiment and you can take the example of height what he did uh, in that experiment i will just recapitulate it he has selected two pure breeds okay for height one the tall plant and the genotype is denoted by capital t and capital t and the other a dwarf plant and the genotype was denoted by small t and small t he crossed them and we had a f1 generation remember all the members are you can say all the individuals are plants in f1 generation they were tall but what was the genotype genotype was capital t and small t the capital t it denotes to tallness while as small t it denotes to shortness but what was the result result was only one factor that is capital t was able to express itself hence capital t is the dominant factor clear but the law of dominance it is not universally applicable now the law of segregation this law it is based upon the fact the two factors of a character that are present in an individual they don't get mixed okay they remain segregated for more clarification again memorize the mandel's hybridization experiment what he did remembered okay we had f1 generation if f1 generation there was a factor for tallness and a factor for dwarfness but what happened all the plants they were tall and what does that mean does the factor 
which denotes or which is meant for dwarfness was mixed with the factor of tallness or it was missed somewhere no it was present there but it was in silent condition because when we performed selfing in f1 generation we got f2 generation and in f2 generation dwarf plants they were present okay during gamete formation a pair of factor okay it gets segregated so that each gamete carries only one factor of a character clear this ensures the purity of gametes in homozygous condition all the gametes they are same but in heterozygous condition the uh, the gametes they are different and this law of segregation it is universally accepted okay with this i have completed the law of dominance and law of segregation hope you people enjoyed the lecture thank you for listening it and if you have any question visit my website that is www dot amarpreko dot com